So here I will be reading a journal entry from a couple of weeks ago. So here it goes. I just want to feel okay. I want to feel present. I want to feel okay with not being okay. I want to feel love and I want to show myself some love. I want to be a good example for myself, my son, and my partner. I want to feel reciprocation. I want to feel trust in all aspects. I want to feel open. I want to be more open. Right now, I feel alive by just watching the wind hit and move the tree leaves. I look and hang out with my son and feel such miracle. I feel blessed with material and non-material possessions. I am not as afraid anymore. I am more daring and I take chances with what feels right. I am humbled, I am healthy, I am abundant. Atlas. Thank you universe for honoring the things I need in this lifetime. Thank you for allowing me to see such vivid colors to feel the warmth touch my skin and for allowing me to taste rich and nutritious form. Thank you for allowing me to let go, for allowing me to forgive and move on. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for allowing love to touch my heart again. Thank you for this new acceptance of growth and new challenge, Ariana. Hi everyone, so welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to come up on here and talk about power, claiming our power, feeling the power. I never really understood the idea of power and how it could truly impact your life. You know, for so many years, especially in my 20s, I had so many people control the way I thought, um, just control my identity really, the things that I wanted to pursue, the lifestyle that I wanted for so long. And a part of it was because I didn't have my power. Well, that was a huge part of it. Mind you, I like to think of myself as this being of compassion and love. And when I love or, you know, showing my love language, I like to just spoil people and really show them that I care. And I kind of mix that with the idea of power and pursuing my own my, like my own things that I wanted to accomplish. So it wasn't just with people, it was just like my whole belief system. Uh, you know, especially how society portrays to um, really impact like your livelihood, your lifestyle, like you have to have this many degrees or you have to have this kind of training in order to be successful or you have to be this certain way if you wanna be seen as this important person. Like it was just so much control and power over, over myself that I didn't know how to claim my power. You might have heard my son or maybe the neighborhood dog down the street. My bad. The thing I know for sure is that 
when I raise my child, I'm going to, you know, basically teach him that it's so important to just be your own person, you know? Like, it doesn't matter if I want, there he goes. <laughs> It doesn't matter if I want him to, you know, be a certain way or live the certain lifestyle. At the end of the day, I want him to be happy. I want my child, my children in the future to really live this truly, like, meaningful life full of purpose. You know, just living their complete dharma. So with all this being said, how do you claim your power? You know, that's one of the number one questions a lot of people um, come to at a certain point in their lives is how do I claim my power you know how do I find my purpose how do I know that like I'm on the right path for one it's setting boundaries like really being true to your needs and your wants and what truly makes your life happy like um, saying no oh my gosh I can't tell you how many times like I've had this problem and honestly still to this day I still struggle with it because I I just want people to be happy, but I need to realize even for myself that I just need to make myself happy first. Like I need to follow the things that I believe in. And yeah, it's about not even feeling bad either. You know, not having someone take your energy. Oh my gosh. I just feel like there have been moments where I'm just like, but what if they're upset or what if they're sad by my decisions or whatever? And I came to the point where I was like, you know what? How do I feel? How do I feel? Don't feel bad anymore and be confident when you're making your decisions. That's one of the best pieces of advice I can give to you or even to myself is being confident in the decisions that you are making in your life because you truly believe you know, in those opinions or, the, or those matters in general. So be confident in your decisions. Most importantly, just letting go. Letting go of the feelings of feeling a certain way that is putting your energy completely down. Yeah, that's the message that I wanted to share. It's something that has been calling me to share. I actually did a short TikTok video on this as well of claiming your power. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy the TikTok videos as well. I do want to say that this is a part of yoga. So you guys know that I'm very big on my yogic philosophy. And I just want you to know that yoga is not only purely based on asana. And I feel like it's just really deep and needed for everyone. If you want me to dissect what the real meaning of yoga is, please go ahead and comment down below. I'd love to share um, my teachings that I've learned from my gurus and just share this beautiful message of yoga in general because it's not just what everyone thinks. It's not just asana work. It's so much deeper. So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and comment down below. All right, I'm over and out. I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully I come out cracking hard with these YouTube videos a lot sooner. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Follow the website, pranabelove.com and all my social media sites under Pranabelove. Bye, guys.